What's up everyone, it's your girl Chef Cami here with a little review on a particular perfume that I recently picked up from my local Macy's and I did a previous video that kind of wasn't what I wanted. So I had opened it and now I have to like put it in the box and act like I'm opening it again. But I purchased this perfume uh, three days ago and I made the video today well i'm doing the video today and like i said the first one didn't turn out right so i waited to open it for this video and um yeah anyways i'm just i'm just gonna get right into the video so i purchased the jean paul gautier la belle perfume y'all and i went into macy's three days ago to smell this perfume because i, I didn't want to blind buy and they, they were selling it at the Macy's where I live at. And so she sprayed it on the tester paper and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells like me. This, this smells so good. Like it's just so rich and fruity and deep and, and just like a beautiful winter fragrance. So we're, we're in January of 2022. Side note, happy new year to everyone out there. Um, I'm wishing you many, many blessings in Jesus' mighty name. But yeah, I went in there and I smelled this perfume and it smelled so, so good. And I also went in to smell the Victor and Rolf flower bomb um, because I had, I was gifted that perfume a couple of years ago as a birthday present. And I was like, oh, I would really like to um, re-smell that and see if I would want to purchase it again. And I smelt it and I was like, oh, it smells so good. But I was just stuck on this fragrance, the Jean Paul. And so I was like, okay, um, I was letting her know that I like scents that are like deep and woody and that will last a very long time. So she suggested a Michael Kors one. I forgot what it was, but she sprayed it and it was the regular one and the intense one. And the intense one smelled really, really good. But I was like, mm, I don't, I don't, that's not what I came here for. So it smells really good. I may go back in and um, purchase it for the springtime because it smelled more kind of like springy. But I was like, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I'm going to get the John Paul Gautier Labelle because it just smelled like me, y'all. Like it just, it, and I'm going to open it right now and re-smell it because it's been three days so it comes in this little tin can okay tin can and look at that like look at the presentation this is just so amazing like the bottle like honey john paul did his thing on this it's so unique it's like different and i, I know there are other perfumes out there that kind of replicated the look but he the original one, y'all. Okay, he the original one. And it's like in this velvety, like cute stand thing. It's just so adorable. And then it has this little thing that pops out. And I'm going to respray it on here. And oh my gosh, y'all. This, this perfume is like, oh God. Okay, so... The opening notes is a very fruity, like pear, it's just fruity pear, okay? The heart of it is um, vetiver, which is basically something that it smells like you can eat it. So it has vetiver in it and the base of it is vanilla. So fruity, Fruity scents are very good, okay, in perfumes. Um, vetiver is also very good because, you know, especially if you have a, a man that that just loves to smell vanilla on you. Like, that's the number one scent, apparently, that men just crave is vanilla. And this has it, okay? And then... Um, that was the base. The heart of it is vetiver, which is like a scrum delicious, like, ooh, honey, like you smell like I can eat you. So I am really excited about this perfume, y'all. I definitely suggest purchasing this perfume because 
it smells really good. I'm not just saying that just to say it because let me tell you y'all, I've been looking around, researching, watching different YouTube videos out there to get people's honest reviews on perfumes. And one particular one apparently that everyone is just craving about and raving about is the YSL Libre, okay? I was like, okay, everyone seems to like that perfume. So let me go, you know, to my Ulta Beauty and or you know sephora does it also and and sample spray that perfume and i did and it was just like not it for me it smelled like some kind of like woman toiletry it just it did not smell good to me i don't know why people were raving about that maybe because i didn't spray it on my body to really get the full effect but it just did not smell good to me and you know i don't I don't really care about you know other people's opinions but i just decided to try it out because pe everyone was raving about it and i'm here to say that it is not all that y'all it is not all that at all but anyways this particular perfume smells so so good the bottle is so adorable and i'm definitely going to purchase a larger bottle this is going to be my winter fragrance okay like I said, I've been looking for, um, well, I don't think I've said it, but I'm look I was looking for a winter fragrance. Right now, the perfumes that are ha that I have are springtime and summertime. I have the Aqua de Gio, Giorgio Armani, and then I have the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Um, those are the two fragrances that I have, but those are more like warmer season. And I was looking for something for the fall winter. So I got this, and this is definitely for fall, winter, even springtime. Um, I would say for the springtime, more evening, and then if you know if you have cool summer nights, this would be a good fragrance also. But this is going to be my signature scent, y'all. This smells so so good. I think everyone out there should have a signature scent. Like it's just really not important, but it's just really nice to have your own particular smell that when people come around you that's what they smell every single time and they kind of relate that smell to you so this is going to be my scent y'all honey all year round i wouldn't say summertime daytime summertime i wouldn't wear this in, in the daytime during the summer months but those cool summer nights yes so this is going to be my signature fragrance y'all i promise you you will not be disappointed in the smell it's very long lasting i had the lady spray it on me that day on my arm here just so i can see how it went with my body chemistry and it smelled so good it lasted for six hours pretty sure it would have lasted more only because i took a took a took a bath um six hours later after smelling this but it's still literally on the test strip that she um, sprayed it on. I took it home and y'all, it still smells like it. So this is going to be a long lasting fragrance, honey. You don't have to worry about the longevity on this. And yeah, this is my honest review. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I can come back with some more um, of my perfumes and maybe let you guys know about the other two fragrances that I have. But yes, this is the Jean Paul. Gautier LaBelle. Y'all have a blessed day. See you later.